But I guess you know, maybe my question was also more, I mean, this is maybe taking up too much time, but in blogs and on the internet, in, in written, written medium, I've always kind of felt like I want to be internally consistent about messaging and about, you know, there should be structure and order. But with blogging and internet, it seems to me that it's okay to be, it's okay to let, it, let stuff out there. And I just want confirmation of that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And, and if you have Google Analytics on your blogs and websites, you'll see what people are interested in. You may discover, you know, that they're, they're not interested in the things you think that you, I can guarantee you, you'll discover they're not interested in the things that you think they should be interested in. They're interested in something completely different. You can discover that using Google Analytics, and then you can go in that direction and let them kind of push you, um, you know, because they'll be starting to look at different posts and things. So. I had one more question. Um, I just did graduate school in film at AU, and one of the things, at least when we started the program, was you know you gotta have build a website, gotta have a website. Um, but now it looks like not. I mean, I can't do my own website, but it looks like I could do a WordPress though, right? So how important it is? It is it spend the money and do a website? It sounds like. The interaction and being linked is more important than having some fancy looking website. Is that right? Right. Is that right? And I agree with that completely. That's the general the direction I try to give to anybody who's starting out. Working on my website, I'm trying to treat it as a finality. I have, I have to write this copy, I'm going to put up these pages, I'm going to build this navigation. And it takes a lot of effort to sort of do it, even a small one, because you sort of treat it as a unique thing. I try to tell people, Go with the blog direction. I use Blogger a lot. It's really easy. You don't own your platform, but I really love it. WordPress, if you want to sort of deal with just a little bit more technical issues, you can, you can put it under your own URL. But you can be flexible. You don't need a webmaster. You can add pages to it. You can, you can experiment. It will hold all media. You don't have to worry about, do I have this kind of media on this kind of site and how I'm going to do it. You just throw it in there. Um, you, you build content, you'll know when you've gotten to the point where, you know, maybe I need to build a website also, but the blog gets you going. It's the perfection freezes progress argument. It's just, you know, I tell people, fail, 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 fix, 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 fail and fix, and fail and fix, and blogs are beautiful for doing that because you can just put stuff in, you can take it out, you don't really care, and you don't really know where you're going. I mean, especially right at the moment, you don't know where you're going so you want to sort of build a variety of things. And, and all blogs now, Blogger added the pages feature to their blogs, like WordPress has had forever. So you have a, a home page, which is changeable, and then you can add additional pages, an about page, a resource page, a portfolio page, you know, a, 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 whatever it is you want. Those are sort of static pages that sit on the blog and then the main home page. It allows you just to get going. And put stuff out and that's I think is way more important and to the viewer you don't care I mean you'll go to as you searching for something you don't care or may not even know that that's a blog or that's a website you just want information that's what you're searching for so to, to get going I, I think they're, they're terrific Google likes it a lot because it likes to see somebody's active that you're doing something you're engaged with it websites seem to be done and sit and nobody goes back to them for nine months well Google loses interest just like you lose interest but a blog you can continually keep it going you can figure out what people want you know turn the comment section on and engage with people you know try to invite comments what are you thinking about what are you doing what are your problems talk to me you know I'll go research stuff for you so you can and you can because it's also like a bucket it'll hold pictures it holds video it holds podcasts it holds Links, it holds everything. So, how do you feel about like what's your opinion on making small ebooks like how to upload blah 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 or is using yep. ebook? Yeah, I, I'm a huge, I, I have a huge effort going in the ebook world, and we didn't talk about that, but that's on this sheet, the last column on this sheet is about making money. Um, so I have a whole music side of me. I published a book called Essential Core. Let me just put it up here. Essential chords for guitar, mandolin, and uh, banjo and ukulele. It's essential chords that for beginners. Um, 
this is the, the, the small ebook that you download to get in the mailing list. My ebooks are published primarily through CreateSpace on Amazon. So the ebook world is exploding. The Kindle world is exploding. The Nook is exploding. You know, there's only one bookstore chain left in the United States. That's Barnes and Noble. Everything else is gone. Um, but the whole publishing world is going to books, and that's all done through ebooks. If you can create books, picture books. Look at Blurb. Look at Lulu. Go to Create Space, and it's all free. All free. Everything that we've talked about today is free. So if you can create publications and books. Put them up on into Kindle. Put them up onto Create Space, and you're in the Amazon system. I have seven books on on the Amazon. Are they system. searchable? Are they e-learns? Yes, they're searchable. I also have a blog or a website that that pulls just like uh, Ellen with the Alzheimer's. When I said blog the entire book in little chunks, and then put the book on on Amazon, and it links. You can then say, "Here's a picture. If you want to buy my book." That's what I do. If you go to Acoustic Music TV, go to just type in Acoustic Music TV. dot com. A C O U S T I C O U S T I C. A C O U S T I C. And Bruce, while we're doing this, do you make money from this stuff? Yeah, right. I'm selling about forty books a month right now, so it's growing. Um, I'd say in terms of dollars, I think I just got a check for 120 bucks for this month um, based on three books that I have that are sitting on Amazon. And it's, you can just see it. It's just, gr it's just growing slowly, but it's growing. But I have worldwide distribution. I don't have to deal with a publisher. I can put out any book I want. Um, I built a site and a blog around this topic. You'll see I blog. I, I did a Every page is a page from the book. So I give it away in a small form, read my stuff, and then I put links to the Amazon page. You can click right over to Amazon, you'll see it. So this gets people every day coming. I have a mailing list. People sign up. Sometimes three to seven people. I have over 2,400 people have signed up from that little box on the side. And they get this little free download, which is my preview copy. So... Your content creators now. Create space from Amazon is the is the print on demand division of Amazon. It will take print. It will take video. They just need them to be twenty. So if you did, uh, Dan, I, this you could do four short five minute videos. So not a big deal. Or five five minute videos, not a big deal. You kind of do them as you do them. You put them out there. You put them on YouTube. Put them on a blog. Once you have five of them done. That's 25 minutes of video. They need a 20-minute minimum. You can push them all together. They're chapters. Release a DVD on, uh, you know, gastrointestinal issues with veterans. It sits on Amazon. So they'll do podcasts, streaming video, DVDs, CDs, and print for free. You just have to create it and load it up, and you're in the Amazon system. 94 million people a month come to Amazon. It's an authority site. People love it. You don't have to pay for the product on Create Space unless someone's actually purchasing it. Because hmm. Lulu, you have to buy it. Even your own copy, you have to buy it. You have to buy one. Yeah, you yeah. buy one. You buy one okay. copy. So, What's big one? deal. Okay. Wow. One, it's one copy. But they take, they take care of the shipping. They get the printing. It's printed on demand. And so they print it. They market it. I mean, you're doing your own marketing, but it's on Amazon. They, they print it, they ship it, they collect the money, they send you a check every month. You guys are content producers. Produce content. So, you know, you can produce it on the topics you're working on, but you can also produce other content, many different kinds of content. You have all the tools sitting in your laptop. You have a complete video production facility and print facility sitting right there in front of you. You know how to do this. You can start slow. You know, I mean, it can be over like, whoa, how am I going to deal with all that? You start in little pieces. You start putting stuff out. You start to see what you can do, and you start collecting it. But the Kindle world, which is basically just a Word file with pictures, also goes into the Nook world. You know, there's, they're all out there. But Kindle sales now are more unit sales in Kindle than paperback and hardcover combined on Amazon. Bruce, Bruce, do you know anything about how to crack into the Kindle single world? Some of those are curated by editors. editors. 
Yeah, and I sort of looked at them. Uh, they're curated by editors, and you have to sort of be established. What I would say is make your own singles. Who cares? Make, you know, it's the 99 cent model seems to be what seems to be working. A lot of people are in that model. You don't have to write a 300 page book, write a 30 page book, and sort of be your own. Mm -hmm. You can do your own sort of singles thing. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the tricks is, things about Amazon is every single product on Amazon sells at least once a year and generally once a quarter. Everything. This happens in Netflix, iTunes, and Amazon. Everything sells. Now, it may only be one copy, but so if you have a 300-page book, break the book into 10 30-page books and put them out as volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and put them up on Kindle. People don't want to read really long stuff. So you can put out shorter ones. But yeah, the single world is sort of, they're exploring that. People seem to really like it. Uh, Bruce, do you think we're missing? Um, I, you, Bill, you sent, the only thing I'm missing are is you sent out the email with um, the different sort of guides and, and handouts in it. So make sure you look at your emails because everything that I talked about is are in those handouts. Yeah. So yeah. there's a video one. There's a Google Analytics one. Um, there's one called, and I've been re-editing it this morning, called I Want to Be Found. It's in that yeah. list. It sort of yeah. takes you, this is really everything I talked about this morning in text. So go, you have all this stuff, so go look at it. And Those, those, those six documents are, are, the, are, the, are the, the key documents that I have from you, right? There, there should be six documents. Okay, I'm going to send you, I want to send you a document. It's called The Commodity. And I think we talked about this before, perhaps from Nicaragua. But uh, it's about, you know, these guys building their own commodity. One of the keys to this whole thing, I think, is to decide what you want to sell, what you want to achieve with all this stuff. He's telling you about how to get there. You have to know where you want to go. I mean, what is the commodity, what you're trying to market, what exactly is it? I mean, you have a clear sense of that. I think Ellen has a clear sense of that, too. I have a clear sense of it. I want everybody in the world to come to get my backpack journals and workshops. But that, you have to really decide what the hell that is that you want to sell before you can, you know, use all these tools that Bruce is going over to get you there. So I'll send you a copy of that too, and, and, um, and I, again, I think I, I had sent it to you previously, but perhaps not. Oh. Yeah, you did, and we, and I, I think I looked at it, or we, we talked a little bit about it, but yeah, no, send again. Okay. It, it, uh, okay. Which is the beauty of all these things evolve and they keep yeah. changing, so you keep adding yeah. to it, and so that's I'm going to be doing some of that with mine too. Bruce, this is a great session. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. No kidding. Thank you. And feel free, anybody there, feel free. Bill will give you my email address if he hasn't already. You know, if you have a question, email me. You know, connect with me on LinkedIn. Connect with me on Facebook. You know, keep the, the connection going and join Bill's um, Facebook page so that you can sort of see these things going. Let the, you know, basically let the conversation continue beyond this and, and uh, keep in touch. So. Thanks, Bruce. Take care, brother. Thanks, Bruce. Take care, brother. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.